All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to On Rusty Trails. It's a platformer, I think? I honestly know next to nothing about this game. All I know is that uh, the promo art for this game is freaking gorgeous. And that's it. So, start game. Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm like a triangle person in this game. Or at least the player, uh, the character I'm playing as. Do I understand it? No. I think I accidentally sent the developers uh, two emails asking for a copy of this game. I felt really guilty about that. And then their response was, Hey, did you get a chance to try out that copy we sent you? By the way, here's another. And I'm like, what? All right. I think they just copy and paste it from somebody else and then switched out the key. Or their thing was broken. I don't entirely know. But one way or another, <laughs> we have this game. And that's fine by me. It's got kind of a weird soundtrack. I guess I live here, but we're also getting... Ah, never mind. We don't live here anymore. Well, that's one way to evict a triangle. This is Elvis. His house is broken. Despair. Scratching his head, thinking. Remembering. House warranty. Pull out. Start walking. Find office. Get new house. Refund office. It's interesting. It's 3D. I thought the entire game was going to be like a really stylistic, two, stylistic 2D. The suburbs, cheap but rusty. Suburb one. How do I? How do I suburb? Oh, here we go. What? How do I? Oh, what? What? I gravity? What? Well, this is something. Oh, this is checkpoints, probably. Okay. So I... This is really strange. I'm not used to this on a platformer. It's not a problem, honestly. I'm just not used to being able to, like, switch surfaces. Ever. But, I mean, hey, if it works, it works and I'll do it. It just kind of throws off my standard, like, ability to move. So travel fast everywhere. Uh, manager presents tube lift. Okay. Clocked in at number 50. Uh, let's see. Reassembly, zero. Tokens, caps, zero. Okay. I don't get it. But that's fine. Suburb number two. I don't want to come over here and look at these guys. funny. Okay. Life backup. Only one saved. Good as new. Only one triangle. Good as new. Okay. Well, let's go grab a triangle, I guess. I have life backup. And I see if I die, I don't get it. But that's okay. So, I guess water kills me. Oh, god. Well, there we go. Water kills me and everything's scary. So, let's get that one. I thought it was telling me to go down, but I guess it's not the case. Unless, what I'm supposed to do is... Aha! Hello! What is this? Inventor's Childhood. I'm really confused. Okay. Oh, I see. I wasn't supposed to fall fully. I was just supposed to go around this. Interesting. Well, let's keep grabbing our triangles. I guess there's, a, like, a limited life number in this game? Huh. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Yep. There we go. Oh, okay. I hate platformers like this. Mainly because I'm terrible at timing jumps. I did not grow up with Mario, interestingly enough. Um, I'm not a... I'm not a big, straight-up platformer person. Uh, and I never really have been. Just because? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh. This is actually substantially less terrifying than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we gotta go the other way around. I'm just assuming... Water kills? Fuck. Uh, 
I'm just operating under the assumption that water will kill me. I'm not entirely sure about this fact, but I'm going to assume as such. Okay. What? Oh, because I didn't have any triangles left. There we go. It's interesting, puzzle platforming with this kind of twist. Um, definitely messes with my head, though. Well, whatever. Don't mind it so much. I was just expecting some, like, more exploration over puzzles. Like, oh, what's a good example? I don't know, I was almost expecting something like Machinarium. Oh, I see. Oops, death. I was kind of hoping I could just blitz past. Okay, let's keep going. At least I'm kind of good at these. I don't know, actually. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, handling corners is not exactly a strong suit of mine. And there we go. Yeah, I'm terrible at it in cars, terrible at it in platformers, terrible at it in this game, but that's okay, too. Oh, shit. I'm still going. I don't know. I guess I was just really hoping for more actual exploration here. And while this is a neat mechanic, with the game's really nifty 2D promo art, I was expecting really nifty 2D exploration something or other, but I'm that's not that's not what this game is. Which is really weird to me, just because, you know, I've always been kind of more of the exploration type guy. And so I'm finding myself being a little bit um uh disappointed by my own false expectations about this game. They are watching you, aliens. Can I go up the ladder? Nope, can't. What? Huh. Alrighty then. This is just kind of bleak. It's an interesting design mechanic, to be sure. But at the same time, I don't know. Yeah, no. It, like, if I'd looked up stuff for this game before, I, I would have no way of being disappointed here. But as a result of me not looking things up, and just seeing the really gorgeous 2D art, I mean, I'm still gonna say it looks really nice. Um, but because of the 2D art, I'm like, this could have been anything else. And use that 2D art, and I would have been so happy. Alright, whatever. Anyway. There are hearts. I'm just kind of trying to figure out, like, a... I don't know if I'm going to say, like, a good stopping point in it. Uh, necessarily, but still. Okay. At least we get this. Can I get around? I can. Let's get on top. Move to the city. No Harry's. Oh. <laughs> there are triangle boobs on that one. Funny. I don't have any tokens to begin with. To be fair, this city kind of is rather shitty. What's this? Elvis is puzzled. Red light. Push! Strap this on. Uh oh. Well, press X to use suit. Oh, I've got a hairy suit. So I blend in. Funny. No more pain from rain. Happy. So now I've got a suit, and that makes that stuff... Oh, I see. So I more or less have to flip-flop between dimensions. Oh, it's one of those. So instead of having dimensions, we've just got Harry's. The Harry suit dimension. Ugh. <laughs> Funny. Interesting. I want to go up to this bar for a second. So, no triangles. Yes, hairy people. Weird. Like, seriously, I want this to be an adventure game with, like, quirky people that don't even say words. They're just like, barbed -dar -bar -dar. 
Or Lord, Lord, dear Lord, dear. Or something like really weird and nonsensical like that, if that makes any sense to you guys. Because I think that would be really rad, in a way. But I guess it doesn't really matter, though. Because that's not what this game's about, and I need to stop being such a stick in the mud over, like, whether or not it's what I expect or otherwise. I'm just, I'm just a sucker for, like, imagining cool games. And always, uh, I guess, failing to create proper expectations as a result of these things. Oh well. Why death? Oh, I see. He's wishing death upon me. I get ya. Interesting. Let's see if I can get up. Keep getting up. Let's switch. That did not work. Okay. Screw it. I don't care. To <laughs> Dying to get tokens is not worth anything to me. Let's just get out of here. Saw the subs. Our city living a stainless life. So I guess now we're here. Whatever this is. Like, it's creepy. There's a lot of, like, neat overtones for this game. I The shipping container repetition gets a little bit old, but it's a really nice... Like, it has really nice silhouettes going along here. Like, it looks freaking cool. Oh, so we were in the outskirts. Now we're in the city. It's interesting how, like, broken the outside was. Well, let's see what the inside of the city is. Those are creepy, like, triangle I-beam things. I don't know if you guys saw, but, like, they're totally just, like, I-beams coming out of the sides. Oh, shit. It's interesting. Enough. So, I guess it's implying that the, um... Uh, let's see. Yup! Actually, this might work. Can I come around the other way? Sort of. Yeah, we can come around this way. I don't think the water's gonna kill me. So we can get a token while we're here. This is... Like, I really like the visual design on this game. It's wonky as shit. Animist. Oh, that's frustrating. I wonder what happens if I die without a token. I haven't really messed with it. Probably should. Let's see if I can get a token while we're here. There we go. And this is easy enough. Of course, the hard part is going to be... Switching back and forth. Well, that's going to be frustrating. Unless it resets me back to where I was before. Okay, there we go. Got it. And we're good to go. Oh, let's, let's wait for this one to come back. Actually, come to think of it, I totally could have just been on the bottom side. I'm dumb. Like, that's what this was made for. Okay, there we go. Well, we're in the city. I clocked in at number 67, so that's got to be, like, of everybody that ever played this game. There are lasers. Oh, but the lasers only kill you if you're uh, a, a fuzzy. I get ya. I'm going to operate under that assumption. Yep, so I'm good to go. Neat. It's, it's, yep. It's interesting. This game tells a, f I'm going to say a fascinating story. I don't know necessarily, but it's got more overtones than most platformers do. Okay. I'm not going to make that jump either. Oh, that sucks. Well, let's just wait for the laser to go by. And go pass. There we go. Got it. And we are good. Good. Let's wait for the laser to go by yet again. Go around there. Interesting. 
The lasers kill you if you're fuzzy. And the rain kills you if you're a triangle. Weird. Alright, whatever. Huh. <sighs> yeah, I could keep going. Let's let's go back out. How many levels are there? So we've got the city. Let's go back. So you got I just want to see how many levels there are. So there's the suburbs, cheap but rusty, city, living a stainless life, mixed quarters, foreigners next door, factory where bad things are made, the other world where people are different, these people are different, it is war, sad times for friendship, inside the machine, it was a present. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to call it quits here. I mentioned in the beginning this is not my kind of game. I'm not a big, uh, you know... I'm not a big platformer type person. I love platformers with like heavy combat and stuff. Like, uh, I don't know, let's say Sultan Sanctuary. Um, but I've never been very good at the uh, timing your jumping variety. Especially the ones where like you have to do the um, switch back and forth bet between dimensions to, you know, get the platforms to show up and stuff like that. Like, it just, that's never been my kind of game. Um, that said, if you guys like that sort of thing, on Rusty Trails ain't bad. Uh, the music's nice and quirky. The, there's kind of a nice little implied plot. The visual design is top notch. And I don't know about the level design. I, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Since I, this is the kind of thing I play very often, it's hard to say. Um, but I mean, it looks nice. And it's, I guess for me, this is one of those where uh, this is an indication. Pay attention to what this developer comes out with. Because I might not like this game, but I probably will like... Um, future games by them, assuming they have the same artists on the team. Okay, so I'm going to cut the music for a second because I want to go figure out how much is this game. It came out today, uh, or I guess sort of today, sort of yesterday, June 13th. Uh, so it's already out if you're wondering about it. Uh, apparently there's a digital comic that goes with it, and the game is also uh, just 13 bucks. So, I don't know. It's definitely the kind of thing that you probably want to pick up on sale. Though, if I'm... Let's go back to level select for a second. If I'm four levels into... If I'm four levels into our city, how many were there in the suburbs? So there's... Four, five, fourteen. Presumably by the end of it, there's like a ton of levels. So I'm going to say there's like 40, 50 levels total. That's still probably going to take a couple hours. Uh, so it kind of depends on you. Um, but yeah. I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to give this game a, a fair shot, or at least a, a fair review, and it's hard to do so because this isn't the kind of game I like. I really wish it was something like Machinarium, because that's what the art style makes me think of. And that's not what I got, and that's okay. So, I guess, uh, it's been a nice little quick look at On Rusty Trails. If you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, uh, indie impressions videos, hit subscribe because I do a lot of these. Uh, especially as, you know, the interesting ones come out. Or the pretty ones. I'm a vain person. Anyway, I'll see you guys uh, next time, and as always, thanks for watching.